Welcome, this is the fixed code protocol implementation demo. Right here we have the MC33 696 PLL tune UHF transceiver. This is plugged into the MCU port of the Demo 9 SO8 SH8 demo board. The whole system is our receiver. We also have the transmitter, which is the VKSP key fob. This contains an ultra low power 9SO8 QE8 MCU. Since the receiver has just been programmed, there are no fobs currently learned. If any of the buttons of the key fob is pressed for the first time, or after a memory erase, the message not valid R key ID will be displayed. IDs are saved in flash and are not erased by turning off the SO8 SH8 MCU. Press the switch one of the demo SO8 SH8 for 3 seconds. The message enter learning mode should be displayed in the hyperterminal. Press any key fob within the next 5 seconds and the message ID saved will be displayed. The ID is saved in flash and preserved until a memory erase is performed. If no button is pressed during the learning mode time, this mode will be exited and the message exiting learning mode would appear. If the maximum number of allowed key fobs is reached, the message memory full will appear and the learning mode will be exited. To avoid saving two times the same ID and waste flash memory, when trying to save a previously saved key fob, the message ID duplicated will appear and the learning mode will be exited without saving the fob ID. When transmitting with a previously saved key fob, a different message will be shown for each individual button. For example, when pressing button 1, the message button 1 pressed will be displayed. When pressing two or more buttons, these combinations are similar to pressing a different button and the message other button combination will appear. For a longer battery life, when no button is pressed, the key fob is in low consumption mode, consuming a minimum current of 0.27 microamps. When a valid button is pressed, the SO8 QE8 wakes up and the key fob transmits a message consuming 5.6 milliamps of current during the button press. To avoid wasting battery life due to accidental button presses, the software has a configurable hold time and when a button exceeds this time, the key fob goes to standby mode consuming less current. The messages of the press button stop showing in the hyperterminal. Additionally to the possible low battery indication LED, the receiver is able to identify when the key fob is in a low voltage condition. When this happens, the message low voltage detected will be displayed in the hyperterminal besides the message of the button press. Press the switch to the demo board for 5 seconds. The message memory raised will be displayed. All previously programmed key fob IDs will be erased. If after the memory erase any button is pressed, the message not valid R key ID will be displayed until saving the key fob ID.